Hi, my name is Ian Luckett from Innovate to Success. In this short video, I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to show up to be a better leader. So I've been working in a corporate and business environment for 20 years now, coaching and mentoring and developing people. One of the things I talk to my teams about all the time is how we show up, how we're perceived by others, how we look, how we stand there and get encapsulate a, an audience in a presentation, how we conduct ourselves in meetings. It's really, really important. It's really, really key. And it's something that we need to focus on. So I'm going to run through with you today three Innovate to Success golden nuggets that's going to help you out with your personal brand. It's going to help you out and help you show up to be a better leader. So the first thing is all about your appearance. Your appearance must be sharp. It must be clean, you know. Spend a few more pounds on a new suit, spend a few more pounds on a few more shirts, and you will feel the part. That feeling when you walk into the office, when you walk into that presentation, and you feel and look crisp and clean. Nice new polished pair of shoes, you know, whether it be a new bag or whatever it may be, just make sure that you absolutely look the part. You make sure that you're right for the environment. There's lots of different types of business dress these days. Make sure you're dressed appropriately for your audience, whether it be in a meeting or in a presentation. But make sure that you look smart. Make sure that when you look in the mirror in the morning, you go, that's exactly how I want to look. That's, this is a really good example for my people in the office. So body language is such a massive subject. And at the end of the day, we're not gonna run through with it in a short video today, but I'm gonna give you some tips. Eye contact is really important. It means I'm listening to you, and it means that you're listening to me. It can be a little bit uncomfortable to start with. So one of the little tips and tricks that I use, is just focus on the a little part above the top of their nose there. And as you look at that, it takes away the, the thought that you're actually staring at them, but it makes them think that you've got that eye contact, and it makes them know that you're actually engaged in what they're talking about. The second one is all about a nice firm handshake. Make sure that you've got a confident handshake, not too much of a bone crusher, but not a wet lettuce as they call it. A good firm handshake, look them in the eye when you're greeting somebody and they, know that they, that they'll, they will then know that you're actually interested in them and that you've got a good body stance and that you're confident in your ability to what you're just about to talk about. The next one is really quickly when you're in a presentation, for about five minutes before you go into that presentation or talk, stand up really tall. Make sure you've got all the air in your lungs and you're standing in a winning stance. No hands in pockets. Hands in pockets means you're hiding something. So put your hands at the front or hands to the side or use them to you know, make gestures throughout your presentation. But stand up really tall. It gives a really good confidence air about you and it makes people engage with you while you're talking to them. As you're walking around or as you're talking and presenting, pick off some people and talk to them to about, you know, focus on people and talk to them for about sort of five to seven seconds as it would be each time as you go through. And then as you're starting to work your way through the room, you start to engage and make sure that you've got that engagement and make sure that they're listening to you and you're getting that constant feedback. The final bit is about making sure that you're aware of the shadow of a leader. As you're walking through the office, people are watching you. They're watching how you act, they're watching how you behave, they're watching, you know, when you walk in the morning and they say to you, good morning, and you say, morning, and they go, oh, how, how are you doing today? Oh, not bad, you know, that's pretty negative. I, just, I walk in the office, they say to me, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good today, actually. Why is that? Because I am pretty good. And all of a sudden, you'll start getting people who will start to follow the way that you do things and they follow the way you act. One of the difficulties is times when you're going through organisational change and you might not necessarily agree with the way that the business is running or the way that the business is moving. Your people will constantly be looking to see how you enter a meeting, how you're exiting a meeting, how's he feeling, should we be feeling like that, should he be feeling like that, you know, what is the thing that we need to be doing. So you need to constantly make sure that you're aware of how you're being perceived in the office so that you're a, um, a quality leader and people are looking up to you. So make a note, put these notes in your diary. As you're going through the week, just make sure that you're aware of my persona, make sure that I'm aware of my shadow of the leader, make sure I'm aware of my body language. They're really simple things, you can just put them down. If you know you've got an event coming up and you know that it's important and you know that this is where you're gonna be watched, then make sure that you're aware. And at the end of that presentation, those people are going, oh, he's stepping up or she's working really well now. Oh, I like the, you know, I like the way that they're stepping up and they're showing up in the office space. It's really important because everybody around you is watching you and it's all about your personal brand. It's about building that up to let them know that you're a quality person. So I guarantee you, take these little tips with you, note them down in your diary, note them on a little app on your phone, whatever it may be. If you're going into that presentation, make a note of it. You take the action, you take those steps, and you're going to start seeing some really big changes in your work and your business life. So I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I enjoyed putting it together. I'll catch up with you guys soon.